Hi, this is John Landis, Applications Engineer with Trimex Solutions. In this video tech tip, I'm going to show you an easy top-down assembly modeling technique that you can leverage in SolidWorks to speed up concurrent design. Strictly speaking, this example is a middle out workflow as we're going to add a new in-context feature to a part that already is in our assembly. It's important to remember when working with assembly models in SOLIDWORKS that we lose none of our part modeling capabilities and only gain assembly modeling capabilities. We can create and modify features and sketches in our part file while we're working in the assembly file. It is this flexibility that will allow us to locate and create a feature in our bracket while we are in our assembly. If we take a look at this bottom yoke, you can see that there is a bore that passes through it. And it's somewhat useless to us right now because we don't have a hole in our bracket. We could calculate the location of that hole in our bracket using trig or some other tedious technique, but instead we're gonna use a top-down assembly modeling technique to locate the hole in our bracket based off the location of the bore in our yoke. The first step, of course, is to start editing our part. And once in part edit mode, we can interact with this component with the same commands and workflows that we enjoy when we're working with this component in its own document window. Now we can simply start a sketch on the appropriate face. Now what's cool about the technique I'm gonna show you is that we can select geometry that is not in our current part as the reference for an offset entities function. I can select this edge on our yoke and when I execute offset entities, I can key in an offset value of 100 thou. And we can see in the preview here that we get this result. So what happened here? Well, SolidWorks took the circular edge that's part of that yoke bore. And when I executed offset entities, it projected it to my current sketch plane and then imposed the offset that you see with the appropriate parametric dimension. It's important to understand that the projection of that edge to our current sketch plane always occurs perpendicular to the sketch plane. So we want to be sure to locate our parts appropriately before we execute on this particular technique. If this circular edge was not parallel to that face, when I projected that edge, I would have ended up with ellipse as my sketch geometry rather than a circle. Well, now that we have a circular sketch at the correct location, we can simply exit the sketch and use that for a cut operation, again, while I'm in the middle of my assembly. And we'll use uh, up to next as a novel termination for this extrude cut operation. So it always goes through that flange and then stops. When we exit part edit mode, you'll notice that if we make any changes to the locational information on the yoke, we up that say to 1.1875, and we do a rebuild here, you notice that the location of the hole changes accordingly. So we're honoring and maintaining that top-down relationship, that design intent. As always, the cross-part relationship is reflected in our tree with a dash greater than sign, and we can always do a right-click and interrogate the external references that are in place here between those two components. It's worth pointing out that in 2019, SolidWorks Corporation updated the external references dialog box. And for a component like this, for example, now, if we interrogate the external references, you see here in the updated dialog box that we can actually understand those external references one at a time. We get this highlighting back in the graphics area. And finally, notice that we can lock, break, or unlock selected references, as well as isolate those components who are the participants in a particular reference. This was updated in 2019, a great addition to the uh, external references dialog box. So there you have it, friends. This is a simple example of an essential top-down modeling technique using offset entities or convert entities. I hope you find this helpful. 